Hey guys, so I just wanted to outline some ideas that you'll see in proofs throughout Special 1 2. The first one I want to talk about is implication. Implication is pretty simple, it just means if P, then Q. The way we can denote that is by going if P, then Q. So we use that arrow to denote implication. So for example, if something's a poodle, then it's a dog. If a number is two, then it's even. The next one is the converse. If we have a statement, if P then Q, then the converse of that statement will be if Q then P. So we can denote that two different ways. We can either go Q to P, or we can use a backwards arrow, P backwards arrow Q. So keep in mind that the converse of a statement isn't always true. Just because something's a dog doesn't mean it's a poodle. Just because of a number's even doesn't mean it's the number two. The next idea is negation. If you have a statement P, then the negation of that statement will be not P. So we can denote that by doing this symbol, P. So for example, if our statement P is, it is snowing, then not P, the negation, will be, it is not snowing. The last one is the contrapositive. If we have a statement, if P, then Q, then the contrapositive will be, if not Q, then not P. So let's see an example of that. If our statement is, if it's a poodle, then it's a dog, then the contrapositive is, if it's not a dog, then it's not a poodle. Similarly, we can do that with numbers. If our number is two, then it's even, but if it's not even, then our number can't be two. So keep these ideas in mind as you go through proofs in Special 1-2. Thanks for watching.